Good morning. Good morning. Susan Wismer uh, from Britain, District 1, uh, State Senator for the first time. I've, I've served my district in the House before, but I'm spending my first month in the State Senate. Um, my committee assignments briefly, uh, or before that, if, if uh, because I'm out of the area, my sister and I uh, run a tax and bookkeeping business up in Britain. Uh, we were raised on a farm seven miles southwest of town. Um, maybe you recognize the Jones name if you don't recognize Wisman. Um, I serve on uh, taxation, local government, retirement laws, committees, and then um, during the interim, I serve on government operations and audit committee, um, which meets every month or so uh, during the interim. This summer, I also served on mental health, uh, access to mental health services task force, which was uh, a, an important job to do. A couple of uh, proposals came out of that committee. Uh, one saying we need to study it some more. Uh, one, probably the most concrete thing that, that's coming out of it is a commitment to spend some money on a statewide suicide prevention hotline. Several communities have uh, instituted it on them by themselves already. The results seem to be definitely worth the investment. So we'll, um, that, that's one of the good things that um, came out of that bill or that task force, but uh, there's a whole lot more work to be done there. Other bills. Um, we haven't talked about the REA territory bill yet. That isn't as hot a topic in our area as it is further south and along the interstate. Um, the, the rural electric cooperatives and the municipal electrics have had a set of rules to go by when they're deciding about uh, territory and municipal annexations for a long time. Uh, they had some disagreements and the rural electrics felt like they just had to bring it before the legislature again. Um, we were going to hear it in local government a week ago Friday, but um, they, they postponed it and are negotiating and we're hoping that maybe they'll come to a, 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 an agreement um, the, the communities involved there are uh, more Watertown and Brookings. They had an allocation of WAPA power, uh, Western Area Power Administration, water generated, hydroelectric power way back, our, our first source of electric power back when our area first got electricity. And um, actually Groton and Langford and maybe even Hecla have municipal electrics now that I think about it. But it's more of an issue in the Watertowns and Brookings and Yankton and Vermilion and Madison that have uh, their own municipal electrics. Um, a, a bill that uh, we voted on yesterday on the Senate floor was a bill of uh, Senator Art Rausch's from Vermilion. It would it proposes that we make secret settlements between governmental entities and outside parties that that we outlaw making them secret. So the immediate example I think of is the Sanford uh, Premier Center uh, deal down there in Sioux Falls where they did have a secret settlement and uh, uh, there are several exemptions to it. First time I heard the bill, I uh, because this is the third year it's been presented, the first time I heard the bill I I voted against it. The, the attorneys do a darn good job of scaring you to death about all the bad things that could happen. But I think as we uh, get more familiar with the topic um, and, and try to picture all the different situations, uh, fall down on the side of government transparency, which is one of the uh, emphases of the governor this year. Uh, Senate Bill number four, property taxes. Um, Hasn't really made a lot of uh, noise yet, but we did have one committee hearing on it in Senate taxation this week, and uh, we did not take action yet. Uh, there's lots of moving pieces there, and that's such a complicated subject that that's all I'll say about it. But uh, valuation uh, processes uh, to be used in assessing property taxes, big issue. 
Um, the justice, justice and juvenile justice issues, you know, the Attorney General uh, during his campaign talked about getting rid of presumptive probation, which was something that came in uh, under Governor Dugard as he tried to find ways to keep our prisons from filling up so fast. Well, our prisons are full, every single one of them, full and overflowing. And I, uh, on the one hand, we do have, I know over in Sisseton, I met uh, the chief of police there uh, at a Cracker Barrel a few weeks ago, and he's very concerned that there are just no consequences anymore to uh, action or bad actions. And, and we have this bad uh, balance here where on the one hand prisons are full and on the other hand uh, we don't want to send, uh, we want to make sure that there are consequences. So uh, another balancing act that the legislature will be dealing with. Thank you.